Okay, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Now there is pure stupid guessing. There is random BS speculation, and there is logical retroductive analysis, okay? The limitations of silicon sensor gain have basically been reached. What has changed is D for design, okay? And E for efficiency. Now I'm gonna tell you about the new D760 sensor, or whatever they're going to be, the Nikon D850 sensor, whatever they're going to call it. It's obviously going to be a full-frame version of the Nikon D500, okay? But let's first talk about efficiency. Nikon D750 and the D610 are the exact same sensor. Nikon D7100, D7200, exact same sensor. 3.9 micrometer pixel pitch, 24 megapixels, also 24 megapixels on the Nikon D750 at 5.9 micrometers. Now why is the D750 much more efficient, especially at high ISO performance and low light than the D610? It is efficiency. SNR firmware and 80 converters. It's not the sensor itself since they're both exactly the same sensor. Same thing true with the D7100 versus the D7200. D7200 has better high ISO performance, low light shadow detail. Okay. Now, efficiency has been peaked, not totally peaked, but it's an undeniable, no speculation, no random nonsense, efficiency has been peaked. What hasn't been peaked is design. Constantly, companies are changing micro lens design. There's at least like 20 different versions of micro lenses that sit over top of the photo sites, okay? Now, 2007 Kodak came out with the invention of, anyway, that didn't come out with, they didn't go to production with it, the RGBW sensor. Okay, let's take a look over here. RGBW. That's red, green, blue, and W for white. Yeah, which is a trans photo site. Trans spectrum photo site. What that does is it gives you almost two, two stops of better efficiency at the exact same exposure, high ISO. Okay? So that is a design change. It's basically like an X-trans array on the Fuji, except this array, which is obviously going to require a new raw interpretation software. No big deal there. Eh? No big deal. It's going to have about two stops, better, crazy as low light, high ISO performance. That is amazing. But you can stick this into a multiplicative of much higher performance based upon some of the um, prototype test shots that have appeared showing the new sensor out of the new Nikon, whether that's the D760 or the D850, I have no idea what they're going to name it. But I can tell you what it's going to be as far as type, micrometer, and megapixels. Okay, now we can't have it be a 40 megapixel sensor. We said we can just scale up the Nikon D500, which is a 4.2 micrometer, has amazing efficiency. It's a 21 megapixel camera. 20.9, basically 12 megapixels. If this were scaled up the exact same pixel pitch, it would basically be a 42 megapixel sensor. So let's say about 40 megapixels, right? No, 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 no. An Icon D810, 4.8 micrometer pixel pitch at 36 megapixel. Well, it would have amazing performance to have it be so amazing that when people see the test shots at crazy high SOs and go, oh my God, I have to own it, it is going to have to be amazing. Since the limitations the silicon sensor technology have basically peaked. They've been peaked now for many years. What hasn't been peaked is the design. I told you before a hundred times in a hundred videos that all camera companies are working, whatever they release, that's five years ago technology they perfected. Always. Kodak invented this in 2007. You feel me? We're talking 10 years since that was invented. The companies, Sony, going to be a Sony sensor. It's already been confirmed that Sony is in production on the RGBW sensor. Confirmed. No hearsay. Okay, that that's rolling out. Exactly as I said, always at least five years behind. Whatever Nikon, Fuji, Canon release, okay, they always have to have a five-year buffer or more to release extra crap to make you desire new crap and then release new crap to make you desire that new crap, right? Okay. So, the technology has already been reached as far as native gain on the sensor. What hasn't been reached is the design. We can keep the same silicon technology, but change the design to an RGBW sensor. So, I can say over here, I can fill in the three important blanks. 
that's going to be an RGB W sensor. Now, what about micrometer pixel pitch? Okay, it can't be high megapixel because high megapixel have to have a tight, um, a tight uh, pixel pitch density. We can't have it be around the D810 at 4.8 micrometers. We sure the hell can't have it be in the DX range of like uh, four micrometers or less. Okay, so it can't be like a super high performance 36 or 40 megapixel. That would be good. It would be better than anything that's out there. But to wow the people. Okay, we've already got two stops better dynamic range and low light capability on the RGBW sensor, which we know it's going to be. The micrometer pixel pitch is perfectly going to sit between 5.5 micrometers and 6 micrometers. The same as the Nikon D750. So let's just say 6 micrometer plus or minus 6 micrometer pixel pitch. That will let you fit on between, it will let you fit between 24 megapixels to 30 megapixels, okay? Right there. Depends on the spacing. So, now we know that the new sensor is going to be RGBW. It's going to be right at 6 micrometer pixel pitch, plus or minus 0.3. What's the megapixel going to be? Like I said, right now, 24 megapixel to 30. Likely it's going to be, from what I have gathered, 28 megapixels. So, the D760 uh, slash D850 is going to be an RGBW sensor with a huge honking enough a micrometer pixel pitch, letting it be a 24 to 30, uh, 30, no more than 30, definitely not more than that, can't, can't cut it. A micrometer pixel pitch, and it's going to be a 24 to 30, basically let's say the 28, it could be 24, it's probably going to be a 28, 30 max, and this is going to be right here the new sensor on the Nikon D750 slash D810 D820 I don't know what the hell they're gonna call it. it could be the D820 it could be the D900 it could be the D who knows what it's gonna be called okay that I don't know I do know however it will have these parameters right here and with these parameters the RGBW sensor the 6 megapixel I mean 6 micrometer pixel pitch 24 to 30 megapixel it will have Crazy ass high ISO performance. Crazy, 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 crazy low light performance, shadow detail. That RGBW sensor combined with huge honking eyeballs, not the hugest, but plenty huge enough. People are going to go, oh my god, I have to own one! And that is exactly cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. That's exactly what Nikon wants to hear. They want to hear, take my money! Take my money! So this is going to be the new sensor that Nikon is going to announce either in June or later this year for their 100th anniversary of Nikon Incorporated. Okay? This is not blind speculation. Okay, this is logic. We already know the RGBW sensor is in full-blown production. It's already been reported that Sony is slapping this new RGBW sensor on their new camera later this year, okay? And Nikon has made a contract with Sony to buy a lot of those for their new camera. And these are going to be the subsidiary parameters of that sensor. And it will take everything. You thought the D500 had amazing low light performance. I mean, I was taking ISO 40,000 shots. I couldn't even see what the hell I was shooting at ISO 40,000 on the Nikon D500. The images came out Awesome enough with no tweaking to make beautiful 8x10. I couldn't even see what I was shooting. So, this will be it. This is the new paradigm. And that is what is going to roll out in 2017, at least from Nikon. The same thing from Sony. You think Sony was going to let Nikon like jump the ship on everybody? No, they're making the sensor. It's already been confirmed Sony's going to roll that out. So this is going to be the bonus that Nikon is going to drop the bomb on everybody later this year. Probably in June, late as August, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Oh, bye.